when I was in fourth grade, I moved to Southbury, Connecticut, and um, at the new school, I was being bullied every day. And getting home from school, I kind of felt like worthless. Like knowing people at school would say all these mean things about me, it's like, is it even worth it to go to school? Is it worth it to like stay in Southbury? Like I just want to go back to my old school where I had friends. Like I, didn't, I felt alone and like nobody was there. And this feeling continued throughout middle school and high school. Once the summer of 2016 came around, I'd broken up with my ex-girlfriend of six months. Uh, we were very close, but things happen and we just weren't together anymore and it broke me. And a week later, I'd found out that she was dating my best friend and that was the trigger for me. That night, I decided that I would kill myself and I went into the woods and I tied a noose to a tree branch and I tried hanging myself, but the branch had snapped. And looking back at what happened, I see that it wasn't the branch that necessarily snapped, it was God snapping the branch. And kind of seeing that he was telling me like, this isn't what you're supposed to live for, like you're supposed to keep going. Uh, after that incident, um, Joe Santora invited me to go to Impact on Wednesday nights. And I was like, sure, I'll go, why not? And that night I kind of felt better. Like I felt something was different, but I couldn't really figure out what. Like I knew that it had something to do with God, but it was never really like, it never stood out to me until Joe invited me to go onto the retreat that, that weekend. And on Saturday night of that weekend, um, I was called up to share my testimony and I had a group of people all my age, one older, one younger at all, prayed, for, prayed over me and I just felt God's presence in me like I never had before. And I felt like invincible. I felt so powerful. And since then, everything has just changed completely. Like my life has just been so much better. And I see now what he was supposed to live for. I'm, I'm committed to play Division Three baseball at the Massachusetts College of Liberal Arts. And I have a dream of opening my own batting range, like All-Star next to uh, Faith Church in Milford. And I want to pursue sports management and I want to coach just like I coach here at Faith Church. And just knowing that God saved me from something so terrible and now it gives me an opportunity to like follow my dreams. And every day I pray and I read the Bible and it just gives me more of a reason to live and follow that dream of being able to stay with the sport I love and being able to just every day enjoy my life. and knowing that the Lord is up there and he's looking after me and he's, he's, he saved me. Like I've accepted the Lord as my savior and it's just incredible to see how my life has changed and I'm so excited for the future and how it's continued to change for the better every day.